because we're an amazing gamer. Um, I need to figure out how to get some of these special endings that we've never gotten before. So, like, if I go to achievements, like, there's some we don't have in here. I mean, like, we, we don't have, like, at least 35% of them. What about memories? Win ratio, 29%. I mean, that's pretty spectacular. <laughs> the map will help you. Oh, dude, who put that pizza up? That, don't lie to me, Walt. Anyway. Um, we're going to... I'm trying to think. There are ways to go... Uh, like, we've done the tank ending, I think, but there's other endings, like mutant, uh... There's a miracle ending, which involves, like, some kind of mutant cow or something like that. Yeah, you can go to outer space as well. I don't think I planned my route here, uh, very well, to be honest with you. I don't even know what I'm doing in this room. What am I d Two things, two things. At least take the flashlight with you. Okay, at least take the flashlight with you. Just dump it. This is not going super well, um, in my opinion. Briefcase. Gra it's not grabbable. It takes three things. The 3D portion of the game is so funny. Dude, I really, like, I wish more games used this loop. I called it the supermarket sweep loop earlier. I wish more games had, like, a loot... And then uh, a survival aspect. The fact that it, it hasn't inspired any uh, imitators is very surprising to me. We can make it. Sorry, kids. Uh, best of luck to you. This is this is the honeymoon run. Officially, this is the honeymoon run. <laughs> the gang goes on a honeymoon. Do 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 do. Rip to my kids, but me and my wife are built different. Look at this. Oh, we're we're cruising. This is nice. Okay, we we started. We got cards. We got books. Doing pretty. Oh, actually, we're doing terribly on food. That's horrible. Two soup. Okay, so you maniacs, you blew it up. That's something we should have told our neighbors when they blew up their barbecue last spring. But I'm bummed. All right. Two cans of soup will last you a long time, though. A can of soup and I'll be all right. Depends whether it's chunky or regular. Okay, you guys are cruising. Um, Ted, we're going to send you out in the waste. Someone is at our door. We're a bit scared, but maybe it's the friendly face of an American soldier. On day two, we open. Whatever, what's the worst that could happen? We die? Uh, okay, I guess she could just get sick. That's pretty bad. Um, it gave us some awful sickness. This coughing is driving us crazy. Well, take a little water, Ted, because you're going out into the wilderness here. Uh, and you, you honestly, I'm gonna get freaking loco, man. Take the flashlight too. Look at that. Day three, and she's already sick. And alone, for that matter. What do you mean she's not going to survive long without water? It's only been, oh, four days? Okay, sure. So I guess it's a long thing. Isn't there like a rule of three? There's like three, three minutes without oxygen. Three hours without shelter. Three days without water. Three weeks without food or something. I don't know if it, if it fully works. Look at this. Day five. We're chunking. Three hours without shelter. <laughs> it's been one week since he looked at me. Three Isaac episodes without NL. Hey, guess what? We already got ourselves a very own Fallout Garden. What is that? Um, the new uh, Bethesda mobile game? <laughs> Microtransactions not included. We've got a bunch of mushrooms. Uh, no, we will not. You know what? She's already sick. Why don't you go ahead and eat them? Maybe they'll cure her. She could become a legendary scientist if this just works. Ah, okay. Well, nevertheless. <laughs> Tomato soup is our best friend and mushrooms aren't. Yuck. It was worth a try, I think. 
The last thing we expected to hear while sitting in a fallout shelter was a trumpet. It was played by someone who was clearly not a trumpet player and who had probably never heard a trumpet player in their entire life. You got no talent. You're flat. This is one of the least important pieces of architecture in the entire North American continent. Um, should we let them in? No, we are the rich right now, I think. We, we got a lot of stuff here. I don't want them taking my deck of cards. Ted is back. He didn't get a first aid kit. He broke his flashlight. We see that we got a tank. Look at this though, man. He's he's making his own uh, uh, micro bruise over here. Also, did he get a haircut or am I crazy? He doesn't look right. Okay, but he, he will be tired for a bit, right? He did get some bullets and some food. Okay, that's something. Dehydrated, sick, hungry. I'm gonna feed her because I'm gonna send her out on an expedition. Soul helps those who help themselves. Drunk high? I, I'm, I will never not say it. I will always say drunk high. Okay, so check this out. Dolores, I'm I'm going freaking I'm going off. Okay, Dolores, you're going out with the briefcase, the gas mask, a gun and bullets. This is actually Escape from Tarkov. She's got an incredible backpack, Comtax, Mosin, ammo. And she's gonna come back with a 60-day supply of insulin and save herself. Dehydration hungry, okay. We heard a phone ringing. Sure, go check it. We got a lock. Just lock the place when you leave up. Or lock the place up when you leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We answered the phone. They're survivors from Hill Valley. We don't want to do that ending. Because uh, we did it last time. But if we have to do that ending, then we'll, then we'll do that. That's just a failsafe for us. Hungry. Me too, get over it. Open in the name of freedom? We don't have a gun. I feel like the Kona militia gives us a gun if we don't have one. So let's, yeah, open up. I didn't hear any bullets. I don't think anything changed. Oh, they, they took our axe? No, oh, they gave us an axe. They were happy to leave one of their spare axes. They questioned us about enemy combatants in the area. Okay, I think it's like a Red Dawn reference or something, but thanks for the axe. Playing with matches is never a good idea. Playing with matches in a tiny underground shelter is even worse. We have flames licking up one of the walls. Um, we need to put it out and save our supplies. Okay, we will save our Boy Scout manual. I'm expecting Dolores on day 16. That's that's my take on it. Didn't lose anything, man. This is crazy. Ted, I mean, he's a little bored, but... The group of elderly people hiding in the ruins of the local retirement home? I'm just gonna be honest with you. Go ahead, Ted. Go full dark side. See if I care. We went light side last time. And look at that. We got seven cans of soup. Oh, <laughs> evil honeymoon run. There it goes again. Noises, weird noises all the time. Are they coming from the pipes, walls? Is it something behind the door? We don't know, and it's driving us insane. We should sit down and relax. All right, play, play uh, solitaire till dawn with a deck of 51, Ted. That's not Dolores. Whatever. Easy come, easy go. All right, it's it's bachelor night. This is Kirk Van Houten. Kirk Van Houten run. Dolores is dead. A woman came by with a creature she says is a camel. Provided that the camel has five legs. The animal, the, the animal has a pack of goods for trade. For a checkerboard, we can get one water bottle. I say no to this. I say no. 
All right, what the heck are we gonna do with Ted? <laughs> what the heck are we gonna do with Ted? He's he's stacked up to the gills, but we gotta find a way to get him out of here. Hungry, thirsty? There's, uh, you know what? No, no, no. There's no way we go on an expedition. A single brick fell out from the wall, revealing a tight opening. Our senses were immediately invaded by a terrible stench. I do not investigate. Um, we don't have a gas mask, so I don't want to send him out right now. I, I, I'm, you know, he's just, we're just going to have him survive. This is now survive as long as possible. Maybe someone will come by with a radio at some point. 19 days later, we got him dressed up in Chaluminati drip. Contamination is still strong. I say no to this. This is now the Ted show. His hair does grow really fast. I mean, honestly, my hair grows really fast too. It just doesn't grow in the places I want it to. Hungry. Oh, he wants a water chip. This never works. I choose not to give you water. Even though we have an outrageous surplus, I choose not to give you water. Hungry, thirsty. Okay. We're not certain about the situation. That means we're going to prepare. Also, an abandoned tank. Yes, Ted, you may go. Short honeymoon? What are you talking about? We're on week three. That's crazy. You don't get that kind of time off in North America. Look at that. He already got himself a radio. Look at that. That's beautiful. Hungry? Take some soup. I mean, this is going to be a fast run. Take, take some water with you. No, take the axe with you. There we go. Dunk, dunk. Day 23. This is called the speed run. He has returned. He's looking all right. He brought back his axe. He has a flashlight. He is hungry and very tired. Well, why don't you do me a favor and take a little bite of this and then take a little snooze. You don't need to go on another expedition right away. Mutated rodents are attacking our supplies. Why don't you go ahead and use that? That's good. Any Anytime you hear that, that's good. That means MT Kurt Loader's about to pop on the screen from MTV News and tell you, like, what just happened with Sugar Ray. By the way, did you know I was reading the Wikipedia article today about a 1997 movie starring Billy Crystal and Robin Williams called uh, Father's Day? Uh, oh, hold on. I, may, I have to get the door here for a moment, I think. <laughs> I'll, I'll be back in just a sec. Never mind, I'm back. Um, and uh, I've seen the movie Father's Day, starring Robin Williams, starring Billy Crystal. Did you know that um, the, the central uh, premise of that movie, as I get off of my headphone cord here, is that there, so Billy Crystal and, and Robin Williams have both been enlisted by a former lover to find her son because they tell them she tells them that they're the legitimate father of the child the son has run away with his girlfriend because his girlfriend and this is the meat and potatoes of it the girlfriend is a huge fan of the band sugar ray uh and she is following them all across the country and going to every single one of their concerts like she's such a die hard sugar ray fan that she just, she's she's a sugar head. She's got to see every single show. Uh, and then she probably writes about, uh, writes up the reviews on her blog uh, every morning. Um, anyway. It's considered a critical failure. Uh, and also made $38 million at the box office against a budget of $59 million. 
Hungry, tired, tired. We wait. Another broadcast from the military. Take some cards. I'll see you in the morning. Who said that? Who said that? Hungry, tired, fatigued, thirsty. I mean, honestly, we might prepare for an expedition. Plus, you're like, oh, he's not in any condition to go outside. Then you don't get to eat. It's that simple. What's that sound? The galloping horse? I'm, uh, I apologize, John Cleese. I cannot give you what you seek. I have not had a map. Kind of like his little tie. Did you know ties were... This is, I, was, I was reading a, a book the other day. I didn't actually look at the, uh, the source to determine this, but they said ties were originally designed for men to wipe their mouths with after they were done eating. Is that true? I, I need someone to give me a source on that. Ted is still too weak. Okay. You will give us map for axe? Honestly, I will trade axe for map. Source, dude, just trust me. I'm just saying, man. Like, I just want to see a source. Before you say it's false, just give me a source. That's all I'm asking for. Ted still can't go outside. As a result, we do not waste his food. Or our food on him. Which is his food, really. We were about to go to sleep when we heard some scratching coming from the door. At first, it sounded like an angry rat trying to eat the damn thing. What's next? A license to make toast in my own damn toaster? We soon discovered it was something much worse. Someone is on the other side of the door trying to pry it open. We need to act. Get locked up. Um, I got shot? <laughs> That's what it sounded like, at least. Our padlock didn't... Uh, we didn't think it would stop them, but it did. Unfortunately, it did get broken. Uh, must have been a craftsman. Ted has rested, but he does look weak. Well, then eat something, my friend, and prepare for your next expedition. We've been wondering what happened to Uncle Brian. Well, there he is in the Boy Scout manual. Dunky, dunky, dunk, dunk. Look, there's Uncle Brian. We see his photo right there. Hey, Uncle Brian. This is the kind of stuff, like, before digital cameras, people would just, like, immortalize a, a meaningless moment like this. Like, hey, there's Uncle Brian eating a soft-boiled egg. Remember that? And then you, you'd, your grandma would show you that photo every Christmas for, like, 15 years. She'd be like, and that's your Uncle Brian. And I'm like, I know. Eating a soft-boiled egg. You know, I'm, I'm getting too into the banter, I apologize, but... Uh, I miss the feel of, like, photo books. You know, you used to have, like, photo albums. They always had, like, that weird paper that was sticky so that the photos would would be affixed to it. You don't, you don't get too many of those anymore. What happened? <laughs> you feel bad for the, the all those paper producers. You can go buy them. Yeah, but I'd rather just take photos digitally because it's 20, 21st century, you know? Thirsty hungry. Owned? Okay. Go ahead. Now, uh, what am I going to send you with? I'm going to send you with a map. So you know where to go. Just got back from my vaccine appointment. Moderna. Gang, rise up. I feel... Oh, sorry, Ted. But you got, you got first aid, so who cares? I feel bad. Uh, Corey uh, said he got his vaccine yesterday. And he said, what dose did you get? I said, Pfizer. He said, I got Moderna. So then I searched up the uh, the image of like those women at the college kegger who like are holding the red solo cups and looking at the camera like who's this nerd? Like you just said something super cringeworthy and then I posted it in the Discord. <laughs> and then <laughs> went to bed. Um, anyway, sorry. Wait, oh, dude, first aid, which we're gonna use immediately. But two waters, one soup. One gas mask, one axe, but we did lose the map because it got slightly damaged. Hungry, tired, sick? You know what? I mean, you're getting the cans, man. To the victor go the spoils. I will not... I will give you soup for cat. I'll give you soup for cat today. I got the limited edition uh, Johnson & Johnson before they discontinued it. Yo, dude, he's, this guy's got NFTs. 
Non-fungible T-cells. Kinda, kinda works. Hungry? You eat, my friend, for now. You're too weak for an expedition? The vehicle turned out not to be a shameless bandit trap. It was an ice cream truck. We could make it functional again with the proper equipment. Go ahead, take that little Boy Scout manual. Page 75, how to turn ice cream truck into Sweet Tooth's armored vehicle from uh, Twisted Metal 4. Ted's stomach is rumbling. I mean, he's doing pretty well, man. All things considered. He's in no condition to go outside, but he's doing pretty well. Sharikov seems to be fond of our checkerboard. I hate this two words. Its favorite game during stretches of extreme boredom is pushing the checker pieces off the table as he gazes intently at whoever happens to be sitting the closest. Probably Ted. The sound of checkers hitting the floor every 10 seconds is getting on our nerves. We're considering taking the game away. Should we let Sharikov play with the checkers? Yes. Who cares? It's a nice little two-player game. 52 checker pickup. Don't go crazy, Ted. He's sick! Ted seems to have developed an allergy to the cat. Oh my god. There's antihistamines in that first aid kit? Now that I think about it, like... There might be antihistamines in, like, every first aid kit. When emptying our bucket in front of the shelter, we discovered a hastily drawn map. Someone drew out a route and marked a spot at the end of it. Maybe there's some supplies hidden there? Let's go check it out. Why not? I think we're gonna make it out anyway, just for the record. We got a map out of that. Look at that. We, we used the map to get the map. Are you ready? He's still not ready to go outside. We do not have a harmonica. And we cannot produce loud noises without one. The military will not rescue us. Hold on. Is it, I, I need to be able to close the book. I'd like to close the book, please. I had a good joke. Whatever, that's fine. Next time. Uh, you know what? Thirsty? No thirsty? I'll give you a little soup can. While trying to pet the little devil, we found a piece of paper on its collar with the address scribbled on it. Could its previous owner still be around? Well, as you are allergic, let's check it out. I was gonna say, Ted looks like streamers on uh, Civic Holidays when Uber Eats only has two restaurants and they don't like either of them. Ted looks, Ted looks like when, when, uh, he looks like what streamers look like when there's a Civic Holiday and the Uber Eats only has two restaurants available, but they don't like either of the, they don't like either of the restaurants that are available on Uber Eats. Um, we were stopped by two men wearing dark coats. They, they took Sharikov. Sounds good to me. Ted has not recovered from his illness yet. Recover from that. Ted's condition is not the best, but we could take the risk. We do not take the risk. What we do do is change uh, axe for lock so we have some protection. Ted keeps coughing and coughing. The wasteland is full of surprises. This man wants to offer a lot for decent ammunition. Shall we trade? We'll try. I'll give him some checkers. Maybe we'll get a first aid kit out of it. They're laughing at me. They're all laughing at me. We offered checkers instead of ammunition. It was very amusing until he took our checkers board. Time to ration supplies. Fatigued, sick. I mean, I'm, I'm, people are like, click the map. Okay. Oh, you can choose where to go? All right. But... Can I tell you, I have no concept of where uh, anything is on this map. All I can use is my own brain to understand that uh, when I look at a map like this, this looks like an airport. That's like an airport right there. As a result, I would like you to go to the airport terminal and if you could please salvage first aid kit from... Uh, the Hudson News Terminal Station, that would be fantastic. I need you to go to Hudson News and steal $55 worth of aspirin, also known as one pill. Or an airplane. You could steal a plane as well. I'll accept that. Okay. What to take outside? I don't know, man. It's not irradiated anymore, probably. 
Take some bug spray. <laughs> Just protect yourself. <laughs> How's he gonna get there without a map? Just look for where the planes are landing. Ted never returns. The lock shelter will forever hold its secrets. At least until somebody with the hacksaw and lots of patience comes around. Alright, well, that one didn't really go the way that I expected it to go. I guess the cat wrote the book. I'm just gonna mean, I'm just gonna believe that he took a plane. And that was, uh, you know, he, he's living it up with D.B. Cooper and, and Tupac in Argentina right now. Honeymoon run ended. 